Tess, I need you to work another hour today. Danny is going to be late. Oh, um, I'm really sorry, but I can't. I, I, um, I need to pick up my daughter from school, take her to daycare, and then I have- When I hired you, you assured me your kid wouldn't interfere with your work. Am I right? Um, yes, sir, you're right, I did. Um, yeah, I'll cover for Danny. Okay, you have a fun time playing with your friends, and I'll be back in a few hours, okay? Okay, love you, Mom. Oh, I love you, too. Miss you. Remember, you have to pick up Laura by 7 p.m. 7 o'clock. Got it. It's just that you've been late the last couple of weeks, and if that happens again, I'm gonna have to charge you a late fee. Okay. Got it. I can't stress enough how important this next step is. You're late. I'm so sorry. I had to work. There was a hiccup with daycare. My daughter, she's... Just have a seat. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, this next step is very important. You can copy my notes if you want, you know? to catch up on what you missed. Thanks, Danny, you're a lifesaver. Excuse me. You might want to pay attention to this. Final exam is next week. I know I don't have to remind you of what's at stake here. If you pass the test, you receive your HVAC license. If you fail, then you waste my time, your time, and the money you spent on this test. Any questions? Good. Okay, that about does it today. Thank you all. Tess, may I have a word? Of course. I'm so sorry I'm late, Vanessa. I had to stay after class. I'm, um, baby, are you ready to go? I told you earlier that if you were late, I'd have to charge you. That's gonna be $100. Please don't. It's all the money we have. Could you please just let it slide? No, I can't. I've already warned you. Yeah. You're two dollars short. It's everything I've got. Thank you. Bye, Miss Vanessa. Bye, sweetheart. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Mama. Good night, Bear. Love you, Mama. I love you too. Honey, let me feel. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're really hot. Why don't you go back to bed? No school for you. Hey, Charlie. It's Tess. I'm not going to be able to make it into work today because my daughter's really sick. Charlie, I can't help it if she's sick. There's a... Charlie, please, you can't fire me. I need... I need... <coughs> Is everything okay? Oh, honey, yeah. <coughs> Everything's fine. Um, why don't you change your clothes, get dressed. I think some fresh air would be good for you. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your step. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. Just stay right here. Mommy just has to go talk to her boss, okay? Hey, Charlie. Look oh. who it is. Listen, um, I need you to cut me a break, okay? Charlie, look at my daughter, please. Look how sick she is. Charlie, there was nothing I could do. That's your problem, not mine. Charlie, can we talk about this, please? You know how much I need this job. Charlie. This is your last check. Have a good one. Um. Baby, come on. Let's go Is home. Is everything okay, Mama? Oh, oh, yeah, baby. It's nothing. Mm. We're gonna fine, okay? Come on. Mm. Come on. Come on. Watch your step. <sighs> okay. You go play with your friends and I'll pick you up for the exam, okay? Fingers crossed. <laughs> Make sure you're not late or I'll have to charge you again. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hi, Miss Vanessa. You're late. Uh, ah, I don't want to hear any more excuses. You have 20 minutes to finish the exam. Get to work. Hey, hey. is everything okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm here. I'm here, honey. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, you're late. That'll be $100. I mean, it's two minutes. <laughs> you know. Please, I really can't afford this right now. Is there anything we can do? No, the only thing to do is pay the fine in full. Or not only will you not be allowed back here, but I will have to get the police involved. No, I'll no, cover what she owes. Danny? You, but what are you doing here? I was at the diner the other day having lunch and I saw what happened with your boss. You did? And um, I, I saw you rushing out of class today and I got worried. I, I just wanted to check in on you. <laughs> I, I have to ask, why are you getting your HVAC repair license? Um, uh... I mean, it's not a very complicated or interesting story. Um, I really needed to provide a better life for me and my girl. And I knew it was never gonna happen at that diner. So I realized that it was time to go back to school. And that is the whole story. <laughs> well, are you looking for a job right now? Yeah, but you know. Who knows how long that would take? Maybe not as long as you might think. I run my own HVAC repair company. Titan Heating and Cooling, ever heard of it? <laughs> um, yes, it's a giant company. I like to take that class every few years just as a way to stay fresh and knowledgeable and so that I can look for potential new hires. So what do you say? Do you want to come work with me? <laughs> yes, 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 I would love to. Um, I don't have my license. Not yet, at least. When you pass, you will have a job waiting for you. Really? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Fingers crossed. Congratulations, we are happy to inform you that you have passed the license. Danny, 
It's Tess. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling to tell you that I, I passed the licensing exam. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm ready to come work for you. Okay, great. All right, I sure will. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> the marketing plan I created will increase revenue 10 to 20%. Excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. We'll reconvene next week. You can't just leave a presentation like that. I am so sorry, Lou. Oh, that nausea hit me out of nowhere. You said when you were pregnant, you assured me that it would not interfere with your work. It's not like I can control nausea. You left me with no other choice but to fire you. You're firing me for being pregnant? You can't do that. I'm firing you for failing to fulfill the duties of your position. I brought in that client. Just like I brought in 19 out of our top 20 clients. I mean, without me, you wouldn't even have a company. I see being pregnant also makes one delusional. Everything you think you've done around here, I could have done just as easily. You know what, just pack your bags. I want you out of the office by lunch. Got it? Babe. You will not believe the kind of day I just had. Lou fired me. Jason, what, what's going on? Oh, this is awkward, but uh, I was just hoping I'd be gone before you got home. Gone where? Look, I'm leaving. Okay, I can't take the idea of being a dad. It's, it's too much pressure on me. What? No, you cannot leave. Our baby needs her father. Oh, it's better this way, okay? I'm not meant to be a dad. Look, 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 I know it's scary, okay? But whatever is going on, we could work it out. How? And now you're unemployed. That puts even more pressure on me. I think it's better for everyone if I, if I just split. No, 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 no. Jason, please don't do this to me. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Mom. I lost my boyfriend. I lost my job. I mean, I have a little bit of money saved up, but that's gonna go quickly once the baby arrives. I know things look grim right now, but you're better off. Trust me. I don't know how I could possibly be better off. Uh, for one, you no longer have to work for that talentless hack you used to call a boss. Weren't you always telling me that he was always taking credit for your ideas? He did. So forget about him. And as for your boyfriend, any man that runs out on his responsibilities for his family is no man to begin with. Consider it a bullet dodged. But I'm still stuck without a job and a baby on the way. What about opening up your own advertising agency? You were always talking about it. Sure, but creating a startup is expensive. And now is not the time to be adding expenses. Now is the perfect time. Remember what I used to tell you when you were a little girl? When we get knocked down, we get back up. And I know I didn't raise a quitter. I guess there is no good reason why I can't run the business from my apartment. At least a start, till I build up my roster enough to be able to move into a real office space. That's what I'm talking about. Make that boss of yours regret the day he got rid of you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. Motivated by her mother, Tracy gets to work starting her own company. Yes, that one was sent over as an EPK electronic. Tracy's reputation for hard work and creativity allow her to build a loyal client base quickly. Correct. And with the support of her family, Tracy was able to juggle the demands of running her own business while being eight months pregnant. 
within the first several months of being open, her company thrived and became the hottest name in advertising in the entire city. I think that this is a mistake. We don't need to add a new partner at this time. I have everything under control. <laughs> Considering the way you have run this company into the ground over the last year, I highly doubt that. I know that business has been slow. Slow? Snails are laughing at us. Oh. Tracy, what is she doing here? I fired you last year. That you did. And since that time, how has your company been doing? Tracy's company is hotter than ever. Combining her client list with ours will be a win-win for everyone in this room. A merger completely makes sense, being that I know your clients and your personnel, which means that I also know where we can trim some fat. This is ridiculous. I'm ready to sign when you are, as long as Lou is no longer affiliated with this company. Yeah, right, like that'll ever happen. Congratulations, Tracy. You have yourself a deal. Thank you. Jason, what are you doing here? You look, you look great, Tracy. I saw the write-up in the, uh, in the Times about you and your business. <laughs> Looks like you're doing really, really well. Thanks. Yeah, well, the reason I'm here is I, I realize that I really screwed up by walking out on you and the baby the way I did. Actually, I am glad that you did. What? It was just the wake-up call that I needed to get my life back on track. But, but I think you were right. I think that we owe it to our baby to give this another shot. What do you say, babe? Our baby? The one that you haven't even bothered to meet? I am very sorry about that. I will do anything to make it up to you both. Oh, Jason, it's a little too late for that. But you're the one that the baby needed a father. And I have. Hey, hon, put him to bed. Hey. Is everything okay over here? Yeah, everything's fine. I'll be up right now. Okay. My baby already has a wonderful father. Let him. Thank you for stopping by, Jason. Bye-bye now. Look, Tracy, it's... It... Hey, take your order. Randall? Is that really you? Oh, holy cow, it is. <laughs> hey, good to see you, Lance. Sorry, I'm just in shock. What are you doing working at a fast food joint? Aren't you like 55 now? Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, it's cool. We're old friends from college. In fact, back then, all the professors thought Randall was the star of our graduating class. Boy, were they wrong about that. <laughs> you know, Randall It's okay, been... Becky, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll have the uh, double cheeseburger meal with medium fry and a large soda. It'll be right up. Probably don't see many of these anymore, huh, Randall? Here you go. Oh, hold up. I said no pickles. No, you didn't when I was inputting the Are you calling me a liar? That's uh, some uh, real good customer service. No, 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 I'm not saying that. What I was trying to say is- Let me be clear. I want a new burger without pickle. Pronto. If I send it back, they're gonna take the new water out of my paycheck. And how is that my problem? Run along now, get me my new burger. Or do I have to call the manager out here to complain? Is everything okay out here? Actually, it's fine, Gary. I'm just giving this customer his burger, okay? Cool. That 
That was nuts. I was right there, and that guy did not say anything about pickles. I know. He's always been a jerk. I know. Well, why do you give in to him? I've got your back if he says anything to Gary. That's appreciated, Becky. It is, but that's only going to get us both in trouble. And that guy's not worth it. Clean up, please. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry it slipped. <laughs> Everyone in our class is gonna just love this photo. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make it my own page. <laughs> What a jerk. Are you okay? I'm fine, really. Fine. Randall, you back here? Yeah, boss, what's up? You're fired. That's what's up. What? Why? I just got a call from corporate. Apparently, a customer who was here earlier today called to complain about your lack of professionalism. Gary, don't do this. Please, you know how much I need this job. Sorry. Corporate made the call. It's out of my hands. Hey. Are you okay? Not really. I just got fired. What? Because of that guy? That's ridiculous. I'll go talk to Yuri and tell him that he was being a jerk to you. It won't matter. Maybe it will if I quit, unless they hire you back. I appreciate you watching my back, but you need this job just as much as I do. Your tuition is due next semester. Thanks for everything, but don't worry about me. I'll end on my feet. Today, my coworker got fired because of this guy. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. This jerk came into our work and started harassing and belittling my coworker, all because he works at a fast food restaurant in his mid 50s. I know that some of you might think it's funny that someone in their mid 50s works a mick job, but that's because you don't know his story. A couple of years ago, Randall found out that his wife was very sick. They were high school sweethearts and had never spent a day apart in 20 years. He couldn't bear the thought of losing his best friend and his companion. So he did everything he could to help her get well, including giving up his high stress and high paying job so that he could spend as much time with her as possible before she passed. Unfortunately, she passed, leaving him heartbroken and bankrupt with a mountain of debt from all of her medical bills. That's why he's worked with me for the past two years. And I have never heard him complain a single day. He is the best employee. He is so kind and so generous. And now he's unemployed because some big shot thinks that it's funny to mock him for trying to make a living. He doesn't know I'm making this, but um, if you could help him find a job, I would really appreciate that. And so would he. I know you're really busy up there, sweetie, but if you could send me some kind of miracle, I would really help get me out of a jam. Where have you 
been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for days. Oh, uh, my uh, cell phone is disconnected. Uh, oh, what's going on? I have great news. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on inside. So last week I made this TikTok about what happened to you. It went viral, like viral, viral. Neat. Well, it's good to see you. No, I don't think you understand. Look. So someone heard your story and created a GoFundMe. And check this out. <laughs> Wait, that's a million dollars? And it's all for you. That's too much. I can't, I can't accept it. Randall, this is for you. It's okay to accept it. Tell you what, I'll accept the money if I could put some of it towards your tuition. No, 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 I, I could not let you do that. Well, if you don't let me, then I'm not gonna take the money. If it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. oh, wait, one more thing. You know, your friend Lance, check this out. When our TikTok went viral, he got fired. Wow, that happened so quick. It's the power of social media. Well, I guess I should start a clip club account, huh? <laughs> yeah, I will help you make an account. <laughs> Thanks for the miracle, honey. We are going broke because you won't raise the prices. We are the only store that hasn't raised the prices. Now, why is that? The people in this neighborhood depend on our affordable food just to survive. Oh, hey, Sal, how are you doing today? I'm good, Marty. I'll take the usual, please. Coming right up. How's your day going so far? So far, so good. Excellent, excellent. You taking care of yourself? Yes, sir. All right, that'll be a buck and a half. Thank you, buddy. You take care of yourself. You have a great day now. We can't go on like this, and you know it. I am not raising our prices, Rita. We will get through this rough patch like we always do. And how are you gonna manage that? Magic? Well, to start off with, I still have my second job. Tonight, I will ask my boss for a raise. Mm. That should help a bit, okay? You're two minutes late, Martin. I'm sorry, the bus was late. I don't wanna hear excuses. I hired an old-timer like you because the elderly are supposed to be big on punctuality. Elderly? I'm only 52. What did I just say about excuses? Be on time or be fired. Got it? Okay. Get to work. Those dishes are not going to clean themselves. Actually, boss, you got a second? <sighs> no, but go ahead. It's just that, you see, um, uh, uh... Are you already going senile? I don't have time for this kind of nonsense. I have a restaurant to run. Jeez, you startled me, honey. Oh, sorry. So, did you get the raise or not? N not yet, the, the, the timing was... Oh. I can't even with you, Martin. You don't understand. The restaurant was a zoo. My boss was in a bad mood. It wasn't the right time to ask. Uh, what's that for? I'm leaving you. That's what it's for. It's something that I should have done years ago. Wait, what, you're leaving because I didn't ask for a raise? No, I am leaving because I refuse to be with a man as idiotic as you. That's not fair. Oh, so it's fair for you to dig us both into a gigantic hole? And then you're so surprised when I want to dig myself out? Uh, Rita, come on. No. We can work through this. No, we can't. There is no this. It is over. Hey, 
Hey, Marty, you open? I need a quick bite before my shift. Sure. Come on in. Hey, boss, can I talk to you for a sec? What is it now? Well, I've been working here for six months, and I was hoping to talk to you about maybe getting a raise. A raise? <laughs> You're a dishwasher, Martin. I could get a teenager in here to do this job, and they'd never ask me for a raise. But hell, I can get an undocumented guy in here tomorrow to do it for half the price. Actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. Thank you, Martin. You're fired. Pack your things and go. Wait, you don't have to fire me. I don't have to. I want to. I can't believe you expect a raise when you can't even make it to work on time. I was late one time by two lousy minutes. It's over. Done. Finished. Now get out. I don't need a big loan, just enough to get me through this little rough patch. We can't help you out with another loan. Why not? You've already taken out two with us, and you've yet to make any progress in paying those off. There has to be some way. I can't lose my store. Then you can raise your prices. Or you could file for bankruptcy. Those are the only two ways you can get out from underneath all this debt. How's it going? Good to see you, Debbie. I'll have the usual. Is everything okay? Oh, hey, hey, it's okay. You can talk to me, Martin. I don't mean to trouble you. It's just, I'm on the verge of losing my shop. My prices are too low and I don't know what to do. I'm more than happy to pay a little more to help you out, Martin. And I know there are plenty of others who would too. Besides, this world is getting very expensive. Why not your store? But that's exactly why I don't want to do it. I like being someone my customers can come to and know that things won't change. Even though everything else is getting more expensive, they can come in here and buy a hot dog and it will just cost them a buck fifty. Or a half gallon of milk will just cost three dollars. It makes a difference in people's lives. Thanks for letting me vent, Debbie. I didn't mean to be such a downer. No. But you've helped me make up my mind. I will not raise my prices. Somehow, some way, I will figure out a fix. Two hot dogs, three dollars. I'll have the usual, please. $1.50. Uh, Just the usual today, Martin. Okay. Uh, yeah, $1.50. What? Uh, uh. Looks like business is good today. I don't understand what's happening. I can help you with that. You see, when you told me what you were going through, I reached out to a few people in the neighborhood. Then they reached out to some of their friends, and they reached out to some of their friends, and so on. So you see, turns out everyone wanted to help you out through this tough time, Martin. Uh, how can everyone afford so much? I know I'm not the only one with money troubles. Well, we may not have a ton of money, but we do have the power of community. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! 
Every one of those people you have helped throughout the years, and those who couldn't afford it reached out to their loved ones who could and asked them to pitch it. But it's too much. I, I can't accept so much. Yes, you can, Martin. It's our turn to help you after you've spent so many years helping us. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for helping our community. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Have a Can I get this one, please? Oh, sorry, sweetie. It's too expensive. We just can't afford it right now. I'm not supposed to do this, but that phone is going on sale in two days, 50% off. Really? Yeah. Here, go to our company website and enter this code. It'll knock off another 15% when you pick it up. Oh. oh. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. What was that, Edgar? Uh, just trying to help a customer. By taking money out of my pocket? Boss, she couldn't afford it. That's her problem, not mine. Look, I warned you last week that you're on thin ice. Please, Mark, I need this job. Then you should have thought of that before you decided to play Mother Teresa to the poor. But I... You're fired. Go! You got fired? How did you know? Your manager called, told me our company's cell phone bill is being canceled. I can explain. I don't want to hear it. But it wasn't my fault. I was just trying to help a customer save some money. Hedker, when are you going to learn that no good deed goes unpunished? I don't agree. I think that if we have the opportunity to do the right thing, we should. And look where that's gotten you. Broke, unemployed, and divorced. Divorced? Yes. I'm tired of you and your whole do-gooder shtick. Most of all, I'm tired of being broke. I want a real man. Someone to give me the life I deserve. Baby, don't do this. I love you. Love doesn't pay the bills. Besides, I found someone else. Now get out. But I don't have any money. Where am I supposed to go? Anywhere but here. can't sleep here, buddy. Sorry, officer. I find you back here again, I'm gonna arrest you for vagrancy. Now get out of here. Go on, get out of here! Yes? Sorry to bother you so late. I found this pouch near Third and Grand. It had your address inside. <gasps> you found it. I've been pulling my hair out looking for this. 
It's all inside. You have no idea how much of a relief this is. I can only imagine. No, you don't understand. This cash is for a charity that I raised for my church. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Somehow, between leaving the church and walking to my car, the pouch must have fell out of my purse, but I was certain it was gone for good. Well, I'm happy to have helped. Mm. Have a good night. Wait! Let me give you a reward. It's the least I can do. Not necessary, really. I didn't return it for a reward. Why did you return it? Because it was the right thing to do. Hey, it's you. I can't believe it. What are you doing here? Well, I'm kind of in between homes at the moment. You mean to tell me that you're living on the street and you still gave me back all that cash? No, this settles it. I'm gonna give you some money. Honestly, you did me in the church a huge service yesterday. I can't take your money. That's not why I did what I did. Yeah, but this is my right thing to do. Listen, it was really nice seeing you, but I have to go. That guy doesn't really like me. You're back. I am. I've got some good news. Oh, yeah? I could use some good news. Can you follow me? What's going on? These are some of our church members. And I wanted to show you some of the people you helped by returning that money. It was nothing. It's not nothing. Most people would have taken that money without second thought, but not you. I, I don't understand. I told everyone at the church about what you did and how you're kind of between homes right now. So everyone pitched in. This, this is too much I can't possibly accept. Yes, you can, and you will. I believe that no good deed should go unrewarded. <laughs> Edgar? Is that you? Rachel? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm on my way to work. It was the only job I could find. Hey, a job is a job. You? look really good. <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about you. I realize it was a huge mistake leaving you. What if we, you know, gave things another shot? Rachel, I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. You think you're too good for me now, huh? No, I don't. But you clearly still haven't learned that no good deed goes unrewarded. You should try that sometime. I wish you the best. All right, that'll be 250. I thought I had more. <laughs> Let me check. I only have dollar fifty. I'm so sorry. Wait. Don't worry about it, okay? I got you. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you so much. What are you doing? 
Sammy? I'm, I'm just helping this man. Yeah, he... give me that. We're in the business of selling food, not giving it away. Now you can come back when you have the exact 250. But sir, I'm trying to feed my son, please. He hasn't eaten in days. Please. Yeah, right. You probably don't even have a son. But you know what, get out of here. Get out of here, before I call the police. I was just in my tip money. Let me ask you something. Is this your hot dog stand? <sighs> no, it's mine. And it costs a lot of money to open up one of these. And I don't need homeless people lined up begging for free handouts because Sammy the Samaritan works here. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna take out the trash. Take this with you. This is so much food. What do you want me to do, man? Business has been slow and we can't sell day old hot dogs. What if we gave these to some homeless people? You know, you're not too bright, are you, kid? You know, if people found out that we are giving away old food, they're not gonna buy any of our new food. All right, so stop asking dumb questions and throw it away. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Could you please help me feed my son? Please. We haven't eaten anything yet. Please help us out. I'm so sorry, I don't have anything on me. Dad, I'm so hungry. Don't worry, baby. We'll eat soon, I promise. Hey. Look, I know your son's hungry, so. And you can take one for yourself too, okay? My goodness, God bless you. You have no idea what this means to us. Look, Mom, that guy from David's Docks is giving them some food. Hi. Uh, would you like a hot dog too? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Hey, Sammy, what are you doing? I told you to throw those things away. Look, I'm sorry, I just felt bad. These aren't your hot dogs, these are mine and I get to decide what I want to do with them. I know, but look. Doesn't it make you feel good? Knowing that you fed some hungry people instead of just throwing them away. No, that's good for them. What does it do for me? Well, I've always believed that the good you put out into the world always finds a way of getting back to you. You see, when I was a kid, my mom and I were homeless. We were so poor that a lot of days we didn't even have any food to eat. But whenever things would get really bad, we knew we could always count on a kind restaurant owner to help us. He always gave us food whenever we were really hungry. And because that kind man helped so many people, word quickly spread and customers came in droves to support him. The kindness he put out into the world came back to him. So you see, it's always good to be kind to people. Just trust me trust you? You can't even follow simple instructions. How could I possibly trust you? Look, sir, I... Do you own this hot dog stand, Sammy? No. But you know what? It is a dream of mine to one day have my own hot dog stand so that I can feed other people. Wow. And how are you magically going to make that happen? It costs 25 grand to even start one. How are you going to put enough money together when you love to give everything away for free? You're right. I'm sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it. Now you can come in tomorrow and you can pick up your last check. Because you are fired. No, please, sir, you don't understand. I need this. How am I supposed to pay my bills? Maybe you'll think twice about disobeying your boss. And don't think that I'm not gonna deduct those hot dogs from your pay. Please. Now throw it away! And you are the David. As in David's dogs, correct? Yes, I am, and this is my company. Hey, here you go, bud. Thanks. Let me get you some change. Keep the change. The work you're doing is really incredible. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. So was it your idea to use leftover hot dogs to feed the homeless? I... Oh, hang on. I just got news that a GoFundMe has been set up and a lot of money has already been donated. A lot of money? Yes. So this was all your idea then? Yes, of course. It, 
This was all my idea. I mean, I really enjoy helping people. You see, it's- No, that's the homeless dad and son from the video. How did it feel having David help you and your son? David? He didn't help me. He yelled at me. What are you talking about? Didn't this man feed you? Are you kidding me? He fired his employee for feeding us. Is that true? Uh, Sammy! Hey, Sammy, Sammy boy. How's it going? Oh, come on, you crazy guy. <laughs> Just tell him about this little misunderstanding. He's the one who really helped us. What is going on? Well, someone uploaded a video of you on TikTok feeding the homeless, and it's already gotten over three million views. People absolutely love the work you and your company are doing. Wait. I don't have a company anymore. I got fired yesterday. What? You fired him? Why would you do that? It was a joke. Come on, you little rascal. You don't get my sense of humor. No. Yesterday you were yelling at me because I was giving away free hot dogs instead of throwing them into the trash, and then you fired me. Oh, I am so not supporting you. Where are you going? Hey, don't leave. Shame. <laughs> You're just gonna leave like that? Well, that was interesting. This is Caitlin Keurig signing off. Cut. That was crazy. Seriously, and I thought I'd seen it all. Good luck. Take care. Hey, Mom, there he is. It's you. Do I know you? My son's the one that uploaded the video of you helping all those people yesterday. Yeah, what you did was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Still didn't stop me from getting fired, though. You got fired? No. That's not fair. I'm so sorry. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I do want to get my own hot dog stand, but... Just, I don't have enough money. I'll figure it out. See you later. Wait, wait, uh, what about the GoFundMe, Marcus? Oh yeah, hold on. You have $30,000. <laughs> wait, what are you talking about? People from all around the world saw what you did, and they've been donating money to you. Wait, wait, are you serious? I have $30,000? Well, to be exact. <laughs> $30,220. <laughs> I can't believe it. You, you don't understand how much this is going to change my life. Thank you both. So, you got your job back, huh? Actually, I bought the hot dog stand. Yeah, it's now Same Sausages. Wow, I love it. Two dollars? Fifty cents. This time, I have enough. <laughs> Here, just keep it. This one is on the house, okay? Here's one for you, too. You have a real heart of gold. Thank you. Hey, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, if this story teaches us anything, it's the good you put out into the world always has a way of coming back to you. And cut. Okay, what should we do for lunch? I don't know. How about a hot dog? <laughs> what the? Oh, Mom! Hannah threw cupcake batter at me! Hannah, stop it. Mom! Hannah! How many times do I have to tell you? Don't throw things at your sister. It was a joke. Sheesh. Need to get this report done by next week, and I cannot do that with you two fighting. Where are the pink speckles? I don't see them anywhere. You picked them up, right? Oh, shoot. I didn't have a chance after work. Um, it's okay. We should have rainbow sprinkles somewhere. We can't show up to the party with rainbow sprinkles. The invitation said the theme was pink. It's okay. I'll explain to Katie's mom what happened. It will be fine. Can't you at least come help us? I mean, I don't think the batter should be this sticky. I'm, I'm sorry, honey, I can't. I told you, I have to work. But you promised you'd help me bake the cupcakes for Katie's birthday. I know, but I have a very tight deadline. 
You keep saying that. <laughs> Ever since you went back to work, you say you'll do something with us, and then you never do. We do things together all the time. Not like we used to. Right, Han? You have been really busy lately. I know you guys miss me being around a little bit more. But when you're a grown-up and have jobs and bills to pay, you will understand. But none of my friends' moms work. They all stay at home. I don't see why you have to. Everyone is different. Moms come in all shapes and sizes. Working, not working, is a personal choice. So your choice was to get a job and spend less time with us. Zoe, what about the cupcakes? Go buy some at the store. I don't know. It's what all the working moms do anyway. Look, someone brought brownies. So rainbow cupcakes are not the end of the world. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, um, can you grab Katie's present so I can go put it with the others? I knew I was forgetting something. Are you serious? You forgot to get the present? It's okay. I'll just run out and pick one up. Katie wanted a Yiffy Play Doll, and they're sold out everywhere. You can only get them online. Mom, I sent you the link two weeks ago. I know. I'm sorry. It just slipped my mind. Here. Put this in the card. Fine. All right. Time to get in the bounce house. <laughs> Mom's too. You can show everyone how to do a backflip. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. I think I would need to stretch and turn back the clock 10 years. Oh, come <laughs> on. I've seen you do it a million times. You taught me all my time for gymnastics. Please? Hmm? Okay, 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 fine. <laughs> oh, wait. Just give me a second, just a second. I'll be right back. Here we go. One second. All right. Never let your moms go back to work. It means everything. It can't be that bad. She just forgot some sprinkles and a gift. My mom, once, she left the casserole in the oven and she almost burnt the house down. Trust me. This is just the tip of the iceberg. We used to do everything together. Now she can't even take five minutes to go play in a pounce house. Wish I could say I was surprised, but the same thing happened when Lily's mom went back to work last year. She used to volunteer for every field trip, bake sale, you name it. But when she got a job, all that went out the window. What'd Lily do? Nothing. She just hardly ever sees her mom now. If I were you, I'd get used to it. It's only gonna get worse from here. No, 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 no. My mom's not like that. She's just stressed because it's a new job. It's a phase. It's just a phase. It'll blow up. Where is she going? Hey, Zoe. Your mom just asked me to let you know that she got called into the office, so I'm going to be taking you home after the party, okay? Thanks. You were saying... <sighs> mom! Honey, I can't stay. I have a big emergency at work. So? You said you'd spend the day with me. I know, but I can't let my team down. Just your daughter. Zoe, that is unfair. I have a group of people that depend on me. I depend on you. Isn't your family more important than some dumb job? You and your sister are the most important things in the world to me. Then why do you keep putting other people before us? It's like ever since you started working even our mom anymore. You know what? Just go. If you don't want to be here, then I, I don't want you here. Zoe. No, I'm done. Okay. I know you're upset, but Zoe, Lots of moms have to work. I mean, she's just trying to balance us and her new job. I mean, it's not gonna be like it was before where she can come to every soccer game or play or recital. Why not? She stayed home for you when you were my age. Why can't she stay home for me? Good, you're both here. 
Go away. I want to talk to you about today. I know over the past few months, you've been upset that I have not spent time with you. I talked to my boss. And tomorrow, you two are coming to the office with me. Kind of like, take your kid to work day. Wait, <laughs> we get to chill in your office instead of going to school? Yes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> what, so you can ignore us there instead of at home? No. So you can see what I do. Meet the people that I work with. I, I think if you can see what I do with your own eyes, you'll feel differently. Zoe, all I'm asking is for you to try. For me. I'll think about it, okay? And just so you know, I hear there might be ice cream. And cake. Say less, I'm in. Okay, good. I knew you'd come around. Okay, how about pizza for dinner? No. We had pizza last week. Can't you make, like, lasagna or tacos? I didn't pick up any groceries. <laughs> Pizza's fine, Mom. Thanks. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be so lame. Not as lame as going to school would be. Believe me, once you get an AP Chemistry, you'll take all the wins you can get. I just don't understand why she wants to work at all. I mean, Dad makes plenty of money. If I had the option between staying home and going to school all day, I'd definitely stay home. Well, unless she gets fired, I don't see her staying home anytime soon. Wait a minute. Back up. Why didn't I think of this before? Oh, that is so brilliant. What is? I can go to your fire. If she loses her job, then she'll have to stay home with us again. It's totally brilliant. That is not what I said. Oh, come on. Don't you want mom spending more time with us? Of course I want to be around her more, but I mean, don't you think trying to get her fired is taking it a little too far? No. And once she's back to being a full-time mom again, she realize everything she's been missing out on, she'll never want to go back. And how exactly do you plan on pulling this off? Easy. I mean, she just gave us the perfect opportunity. Take your kid to work day. Here I come. Wow, you have your own office. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, if you're into that sort of thing. I have a really quick meeting, so make yourselves comfortable. It'll be like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's gone. So wait. This whole idea is giving me a pit at the bottom of my stomach. That's just because you had too much pizza last night. I'm not helping you do this. I'm not gonna rat you out, but I'm not gonna be the reason that mom gets fired. You're on your own. I'm gonna go grab water. You want anything? If no one will help me, I'll just do this myself. the meeting without her? Girls, did your mom happen to say when she was going to be back? Eh, five minutes, five hours. <laughs> Who knows? My mom's always late. What are you talking about? Mom's always on time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to run to the bathroom. <sighs> Before we get started, let me pass out the reports. I had the reports in here earlier. Um, I don't understand. Girls, did you see anything in my office? I don't think so. No. Nope. She loses things all the time. I can't tell you how many socks happen to go missing when she does the laundry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll just print another copy. It's no big deal. Is everything okay? 
Oh no. All my files. They're all gone. They were here last night. I, I don't know what I did. Bless her heart. She probably deleted it by accident. She's always getting distracted and forgetting stuff. I'm trying to tell her. <laughs> Jen, don't worry about it. We'll have the guys at IT look at the laptop. Yeah, and everything gets saved to the cloud so you can pull up the report from there. <sighs> Phew. Oh, that's such a relief. <laughs> the cloud. Oh, okay, oh, thanks. Oh, shit. Her freaking mistake. <laughs> I can't believe Rhoda that worked. She was late to the meeting, she didn't have her reports or her files, and she still didn't get fired. Can't say you didn't try. Oh, I tried. It's not hard enough. Can't you just accept that mom has a job now? And even though things are different, maybe that's okay. Mom always tells us to go after what we want, right? And I want mom back home. So I'm just following her advice. You've already embarrassed her in front of everyone. Yep. What are you gonna do now? Whatever it takes. Please don't do that dance. Okay, I have to run to the coffee room really quick. You guys okay? Yeah. Stop it. Your plan failed, now get over it. It's not over until the fat lady sings. What are you even doing? What I should have done in the first place. Mom's resume? Yep. Your big plan is to send mom's resume to another job. You've lost your marbles. Wait, no, you can't, you can't send that to mom's boss. She's gonna think she's applying for another job. Exactly. I'm not letting you send that. Oh, really? Watch me. You just said that to mom. I did what had to be done. Okay. It's for the best. Bye. To the victor goes the spoils. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is there any way you can explain what happened? Actually, she gave me a raise on the spot. She said she didn't want to lose your best employee to the competitor. Are you serious? Then why are you so upset? You took it, right? Actually, I quit. What? But you kept saying how much you love that job. I know. Being able to have a family and pursue my passion, I finally felt complete. Like I had something for me. Don't get me wrong. The hours were crazy. Trying to balance work and being a mom was hard. But I was never happier. Then why'd you leave? Zoe. It was clear she was having a really rough time with the transition. I don't know, maybe when she's a little older? I'll go back and try again. My daughter's not even one. I can't imagine how hard that is. It's like as moms, we have to put our feelings on the back burner. We sacrifice so much. Our bodies, our dreams, our happiness. It just doesn't seem easy to have it all. You're right. I guess I'll go back and do what I used to do. Make PB&J sandwiches, carpool pickup. Is that what's best for you? As a mom? I don't have a choice as what's best for me. I have to do what's best for my kids. Okay, once I drop Hannah off at soccer and you off at ballet, then I'll go to the store, pick up the brownie mix for the school bake sale tomorrow. Have you seen my blue sweater? I need it for ballet and I 
can't find it anywhere. No, when did you last see it? I was wearing it yesterday and then I, um... I think I left it at your office. Do you think we could stop on the way so I can grab it? Yeah, okay, sure, that should be okay. I don't see it. Maybe you left it in the conference room? Jen, it is so great to see you. Gail, I'm so sorry we barged in like this, but Zoe thinks she left her sweater somewhere here. Oh. Is that what she told you? <laughs> I had to get her back here somehow. <laughs> what are you talking about? What is going on? Um, your daughter here messaged me last night. Zoe, what for? Just so I can explain that I... Maybe... I just sort of was the one who emailed her yesterday with your resume applying for a different job. You did what? Before you get mad. I also asked if your job in that raise is still on the table. She said it is. I don't understand. You went to all this trouble so that I could lose my job, and now you want me to take my job back? I'll admit, you're going back to work. That hasn't been my favorite thing in the world. It's like you said, being a mom comes in all shapes and sizes. I want you to be happy, even if that means sharing you. But that means we won't get to spend a lot of time together. And I know how upset you get when I forget a present or if I forget sprinkles. I got a solution for that. To make your life easier and to make sure you don't forget anything, I set up auto reminders in your calendar for important events like birthdays. Each party has a link to Amazon. So you never have to forget a present ever again. <laughs> and I signed you up for auto refills for house stuff and groceries, you know, <laughs> including sprinkles. <laughs> I figured if you don't have to worry about running out and doing all the extra stuff, you'd have more time for us. Wow. You did all that so I could go back to work. You'd do anything for us. Felt right to return the favor. So, will you please take your job back? Please say yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. <laughs> it smells really good. I want to try. Oh, let me see this. Oh, that is it! Oh, you're going down. Oh, no, wait, hold, hold, stop, stop. I gotta, I gotta get this. I gotta get this. Oh. Save by the bell. <laughs> Looks so stupid right now. Whatever. Okay. Who is it? Well, now that I'm making more money, thanks to Zoe, we can afford a housekeeper. This is Janice. Janice, these are my kids. Nice. <laughs> so does that mean that we don't have to clean up this mess in the kitchen? No, you definitely do. But it means that I'll have more free time. Which is why, after we're done baking, we can go to Bouncy Park. Seriously? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> are you gonna do a backflip? Yeah. Let's see if I can do it right now. Uh, 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 never mind. Uh, I definitely just pulled something. Oh. <laughs> uh, wait, where are the sprinkles? Oh, I knew I forgot something. I'm gonna run to the store. Mom, don't worry. I got you covered. <laughs> Auto refills, remember? Thanks. Uh, any chance there's Advil or ice packs in there? <laughs> so, basically it's a dating app, but when two people match each other, they have to play games to unlock information about the other person. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I just, I didn't know we needed to bring our own code. Oh, uh, <laughs> we don't. I, um, I, I thought it would be nice to show it off to the developers here, get some new feedback. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think we're gonna be talking to the developers on our first day. Oh. I also don't think you need to wear a tie. What? Oh, come on, man. D don't you wanna make a good impression? Make big moves here? Yeah, uh, the only moves we're gonna make is towards that coffee machine over there. For the employees. Oh, well, regardless, I'm gonna do my best to stand out. I'm, I've got big dreams. You know, my goal is to be the next Kevin Systrom of the dating app world. Wow, 
I don't know who that is, but that's really cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get my college credit so I can graduate. That's the CEO. Dude. We're launching in two weeks. It's going to be our biggest app yet. Just you wait and see. That's what you said about the last three. At this point, the shareholders need to see some real results. Okay, well, this time it's a sure thing. You know what? Come into my office and I'll show you our first quarter projections. I didn't realize you hired some new people. Uh, I didn't realize either. I'm sorry, who are you guys again? It's an honor to meet you, gentlemen. Uh, I'm Joe. I just started here. And uh, this is David. Hello. Uh, what are you working on? Oh, uh... This is some new code. It combines game features with uh, the matchmaking process. It's very impressive. Uh, what program are you using? Python? It's actually a combination of Java and PHP, sir. That way I can process the game features faster while also allowing for less developer hours to make changes. Efficient and mindful of cost. I like the way he thinks. Uh, is he one of your new engineers? <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is your job title again? Well, I um, I actually just started as an intern. Oh, but I an love intern. <laughs> they all think they're the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> you never know. I keep an eye on this one. I can see him definitely going places. Oh, yeah, I see him going places, too. I see him going straight into the break room to make us some coffee. How do you take yours? Uh, two creams. Two creams for Albert. You heard them in now. Off you go, boys. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, you know what? Hold on, you. Uh, <clears throat> do you mind? meeting me in my office in just like a second. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <clears throat> I would appreciate it if you kept your little homework assignment to yourself. I don't want my shareholders thinking that you somehow represent my company. Okay, okay. But he seemed to like it. I like was it. just being polite, okay? You're an intern. You're barely an adult. What could you possibly know about developing an app? But sir, I've been doing it. But, but nothing, you're an intern, okay? I want to see you sorting mail and making coffee, all right? Stay in your lane, right? Uh, and I will take two creams in my coffee as well. Thank you. Now, off you go, goodbye. Oh, head away. Ah. Can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to intrude. I, I was just, um, I was admiring your work. Uh, you know Code Kid? Yeah. Yeah, I've been writing it since I was 10. I'm hoping I can be in here working with you guys one of these days. Wow, since you were 10. Guess it's true what they say. You are never too young to go after your dreams. I 100% agree with that. You must be Edward, head of engineering. I saw your picture in the break room. Oh, yeah. That's me. Thank you. Well, let me know if there's anything I can ever help you with. Oh, wait. Do you want to take a look at something? Sometimes it helps to get a fresh set of eyes. Of course. What's up? I've been working on these few lines of code for a while, and I keep running into a logic error. I'm curious to see what you've got. OK. Um, let's see. Do you mind if I uh, take, take a look? Yes. Mm. Mm. OK. Oh, uh, okay. I see what's going on. You do? Mm-hmm. It looks like you don't just have a logic error in here. If you take a look at what's in this array... It should just be the meta details. I think there's an index error hiding in here. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. And that should do it. You want to take a look? What in the world is going on here? Oh, I was just helping Edward with the code, you know. I asked him to. You're my senior engineer. Why would you ask a child for help? And you, little man, are you trying to run my company into the ground? No, sir, not at all. I was... Give me that. You're not at home playing video games, okay? This is real life. You probably just broke something. Edward, will you please fix whatever he just messed up? Thank you. And you! From now on, leave the coding to the developers, okay? Next time I see you, you better be sorting mail or handing out coffee. And if you're not, I am going to fire you. Do we have an understanding? With all due respect. You know what? I don't want to hear it! 
Do we have an understanding? Edward. He didn't sabotage anything too bad, did he? No. As a matter of fact, he just caught something the entire team couldn't. He probably just saved us all a day of work, at least. Okay, well, how incompetent can you be? If you need an intern to do your work for you, maybe I should be paying you what I pay him, which is nothing. I just don't think there's any way we're gonna be able to get all those features done in time for version one. Okay, well then how are we any different from Tinder or any of the other hundreds of dating apps out on the market, okay? We, we need something unique, people, if we are going to be better than all of them. So you really think we're gonna be bigger than Tinder? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't hear that. Can you speak up? Can you, yeah. did you have something you wanted to share with the group, Edward? Yeah. No, I didn't think so. <sighs> okay, we need something that is going to make us stand out. I'm not sure if there's enough time to add any new features before launch. She's right. Can't we just push back the launch? Now that, people, that right there is a great idea. Push back the launch date and then, um, we can put a big sign out in front of the building that says, failures! Push back the launch. We've already done that twice, Edward, and the shareholders are breathing down my neck as it is. What if we added customizable interfaces, like you could make your profile pink or add... You mean kind of like MySpace in 2005, huh? That's adorable. People! You all got fancy schmancy degrees at very expensive schools, and not one of you has come up with a decent idea. You better be raising that hand, asking me if I want sugar in my coffee. No, I have a suggestion. Okay, little man, how many times have I told you to stay in your lane? Give him a chance to speak, Calvin. What have you got to lose? Isn't that the kid that fixed the syntax error? I like to hear what he has to say. Me too. Okay, fine. I will give you 30 seconds, and then you go back to sorting mail. Go. Okay, well, it's basically a code that I already made. It processes game material on a dating app platform without slowing things down. If we implement it into the script, that would allow for some really cool add-ons. What, 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 what is this, this code that this person is talking about? Has anybody seen this code? I have, <clears throat> um, but I really think this could work. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if the other intern thinks it could actually work, then I'm sold. I mean, his idea would definitely be unique. I've never seen that done before. Yeah, I think it's pretty genius. Like, words with friends for dating. Exactly. And all this code is already written. Yep. All I need to do is migrate it over to the production server and run some tests on it. If it's already done, then there's a small chance we can actually make it by the deadline. But the question is, does this code actually work? I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, I I haven't tested it with real live users, but theoretically it should. Okay, so the answer is it only works if nobody uses it. That's great. <laughs> There's only two days left. Unless you want to upload V1 without any additional features, I suggest we try this. Is two days even enough time? I'd need to pull some all-nighters, but so long as I have some caffeine in me, I should be fine. Maybe you can help. Yes, yes, I, I can make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best shot we have. What do you say? Okay, fine. I will give you a chance. And if it works, you will become part of my development team as of Monday. Really? And if it doesn't work, you get your stuff and you get out of here. And I call every single person I have ever met in Silicon Valley and make sure that you never work in tech again. How's that sound, little man? Yes, sir. I understand. I, I won't let you down. Yeah, don't. All right, well, what are you all doing sitting here? Get back to work. Welcome to the development team, even if it is just for 48 hours. Shall I show you to your desk? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. Uh, what should I start working on first? You tell me. You're in charge. 
Joe walks off excited to join the development team while also hoping he made the right decision. He's given a desk and starts working right away, trying to add his gaming feature to the app launch. He works all day and all night, even long after everyone else has left. Well, mostly everyone that is. Joe pulls an impressive 48 hours straight. Regardless of how tired he gets, he keeps pushing through to try and make the deadline. And then comes the day of the launch. Hey, Joe, hey, wake up, man. What time is it? What time is it? It's three minutes to eight. Everyone's literally coming up right now. Did you finish it? I think so. Um, let me just... Yeah, all done. I just need the go signal to take it all live. All right, I hope it works. Me too. Here. Thanks. Ah. Okay, people, we are taking this thing live in two minutes. Are you ready, kid? Yes, sir, I just finished, just in time. All right, everybody to your stations, please. Uh, you, get me a coffee. Everybody, listen, be on your A games today. Please, we cannot have any hiccups. All the shareholders will be watching. Everything's looking good so far, but there aren't any users yet. That'll be the real test. All right, well, the, uh, the email blast with the ads and the press release, it's gonna go live in about one minute. So this better work, kid. It will, I'm pretty confident. Oh, have you load tested the servers? Yeah, I did. They're all set to AWS to auto scale, so we should be able to handle however much traffic we get. But we do need real live users to make sure. Okay, here we go. Edward, take us live in five, four, three, two, one. We're live. <laughs> we did it. I did, 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 did. Relax, don't celebrate just yet. Let's make sure that everything is running smoothly. Everything's looking good so far. We have 5,000 people downloading the app already. No, no way. Yeah, and the servers are holding up just fine. 10,000 downloads. 10,000, are, are you serious? Like, and there are no errors coming in? Ah, the load's not even spiking. We just rolled another 10 servers. The scaling seems to be doing great. Yeah, we're looking solid. 25,000 downloads in process and counting. 25,000 downloads, are you kidding me? Like, that's unbelievable. Yeah, our last app did not have 25,000 downloads in its first year, I can't. You, I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to the team. Uh-oh. What, uh -oh, what does uh-oh mean? Why is she saying uh-oh? Shoot, uh, we've got a problem. What, what is the problem? Tell me what the problem is. Uh, Tell me now uh, what the problem is. Some of the servers seem to be faulty. We're lagging hard. What, what, what? The app just crashed. No, 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 no. Get us back up online, quick. Little little man, go do something. It's probably something to do with the AWS. I'll, I'll do what I can. Oh, and terrific. Albert is calling already. Nope, goodbye. Uh, let me just go to the server room so I can fix something. And oh, you know what? Forget it. Don't touch anything. This is probably your fault. Hey, don't get mad at Joe. There's a number of reasons why this could have happened. You do not defend him. I knew I should not have trusted this kid. He probably has no idea what he is doing. And Albert is calling me again. Well, just give me a chance. No more chances for you. You know what? I've had it. Get out of here. You're fired. No, Calvin, don't do this. I just did it. Little man, you're not listening to me. There's the door. I said, get out of here. You are fired. Wait, just let Wait me. Wait for nothing. I don't want to hear it from you anymore. You're trying to run my business into the ground. Get out. Hi, Albert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, don't, don't, don't worry. Everything is fine. It's just a little technical difficulty. It's uh, nothing to be concerned about. We will be back up online in a minute. I know what you're thinking. If I had another hour, I could fix everything. No. No, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm a failure. I'm a loser, I suck. I really wanted this job to work out. Maybe I'm just not a developer. Why, because you couldn't handle 25,000 concurrent users on your first ever launch? None of the people in there could handle a fraction of what you just did. Calvin's right. I'm just an intern. I should have stayed in my lane. No, you are a coder. 
One of the best I've ever seen, hands down. Yeah, a coder who is never gonna work in Silicon Valley again. You heard what Calvin said. Do you think that Calvin has that kind of power? His mark is a lot worse than his bites. I'm honestly more worried about him finding work again if this app doesn't work out. He doesn't have the best track record. Well, that makes me feel even worse, considering my code is what crashed the entire app. Have you ever thought that maybe your code isn't meant for Calvin's app? It's meant for yours. What are you saying? I'm saying you're a smart kid and you are a risk taker. That's a good combination. You should be making your own apps. But I'm only 18 years old. Well, then it's a good thing you 100% agree. You are never too young to go after your dreams. You're right. Wow, I, I can't believe I almost forgot that. You don't need Calvin. You don't need this job. All you need is this and maybe some funding. Oh, yeah. Where am I supposed to find that? Who do you think helped Calvin find his funding? Let me take care of it. Really? Wait, you do that for me? I don't want it to seem like charity. I will want a percentage, but that can come later. For now, get your app working and give me a call when you have a prototype, all right? Yes. Thank you so much, Edward. I am never going to forget this. See? Maybe it's a good thing that you got fired. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly how I'm going to explain it to my parents. <laughs> good luck, kid. <laughs> Joe is once again excited to go after his dream. He spends all day and night coding again. Except this time, it's for his own app. He works harder than he's ever worked before. And after many all-nighters, he finally completes his first prototype. A few weeks later, Edward sets up a meeting with the well-known investor. It doesn't take long for the investor to be convinced to help fund the app. Joe couldn't be more excited. Over time, Joe opens his own office Edward becomes his CFO and David becomes his COO. Together, they all create one of the top dating apps in the world, with so many users buzzing about their innovative features. And then one day, Joe gets a visit from an unexpected person. Uh, who am I meeting again today? He says he used to work with you. Calvin? Hey. Hey, long time no see. What brings you here? Well, you know, it's funny. I was reading a magazine and for some reason you just uh, popped into my head. Oh, <laughs> I hate that picture. I cringe every time I see it. Oh. Come on, come on. Hey, it is amazing how well your app is doing. Congratulations. I am just so proud of you. I appreciate it. You know, I, I could say it's all thanks to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't fired me, I probably never would have started my own business. Oh, well, see, I am I am glad to have been part of your journey. Yeah, well, you didn't have to come all the way out here to tell me that. Uh, an email would have been just as good. No, 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 no. I am here with an offer. An offer? A job or? Uh, no, 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 here, sit down. <clears throat> I would like to buy your company. Oh, yeah? Yeah, an all-stock deal. I give you 10% of my company in exchange for 100% ownership of yours. You'd do that for me? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, a young, smart guy like you knows an opportunity when he sees it, right? I mean, you could go anywhere. Live on a beach in Costa Rica or something. Like, never work another day in your life. Do you mind me asking how much revenue your company has? Well, I... I none. Uh, right now, because our, our, our app hasn't taken off yet. But when it does, it is going to be huge. I'm, I'm talking billions. You'll see. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me for 100% ownership of my company in exchange for 10% stock of a company that makes zero revenue? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're on track for 50 million this year. 
You are? Mm -hmm. With a 300% year-over-year growth rate. Isn't that right, Edward? Sorry, but we're not interested. Come on. At least think about it. No. Sorry, there's no way I'm going to change my mind. Okay, you know what, little man? You are going to live to regret it. Hey, are you new here? Yes, sir. I'm an intern. It's an honor to meet you. If you'd like any coffee or need help with any of your mail, I'm your person. That'd be great, thanks. You know, Alex here was actually just telling me some good ideas that he had on uh, some new features that we could maybe add into the app. Oh, huh. is that so? Yeah, I know it's probably hard to believe because I'm young. No, not at all. You know, uh, a wise person once told me, you're never too young to go after your dreams. I love that. If you ever have a moment, I'd love to show you some new code I was working on. You know what? I have a moment right now. You want to step into my office? That sounds great. So, coding, what's food good? Come on, Dad, almost there! Uh, here comes oh, the after oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes! <laughs> Come on! Oh my gosh! Uh, you two did so great! Here, honey. Amazing job, baby bro. What was our time? 17 hours and 8 minutes. Eight minutes off the qualifying time. It was an honor to have both of you compete in the Twin Oaks Triathlon. Thank you. Your best time yet. And at the end, you two were really flying. Totally. You did such a good job, and I got really good footage, too. Just wait until you see. But we didn't qualify for Hawaii. Hey, it's OK, buddy. We'll get them next time. That was our sixth try. Hey, we don't give up, right? Hey, what is it we always talk about, huh? If you get knocked down, hey, if we get knocked down, you get back up. That's my boy. We have another chance to qualify next month, right? I mean, if you're up for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go Team Miller. Oh, I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of you. Come on, Dad, almost there. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that one's good. Hey, what are you kids up to? I'm showing Richie how you two are blowing up on TikTok. Here come the afterburner! Oh, yeah? What are we, like, GIFs or MPTs or...? <laughs> Dad, stop. It's way better when you try not to be cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, what do you say we, uh, we turn in? You gotta get up, start training all over again, tomorrow morning bright and early. Night, Mary. My baby bro. Dad? What's up, buddy? I promised to train so hard, we're gonna qualify this time, I know it. I know you will, buddy. And I'm gonna do my very best not to let you down. You can never let me down, Dad. Get some rest. Good night, buddy. You were late this morning. Uh, Again. Had training with my son went a little long and, and, and we blew a tire. You're still doing those infernal races. I thought we talked about this. My son loves it. He has this dream of competing in the Ironman in Hawaii. I just... And I have this dream of having employees that don't let their personal life interfere with work. Yeah, I... You're on thin ice, Miller. Start showing me you care about this job, or you'll be out of a job. Got me? Yes, sir. And I want the McNeil report in my inbox first thing in the morning. Tomorrow morning? Is that a problem? Uh, it's just that, uh, no, not a problem. I'm all over it, sir.
I thought that might be you calling. Are you on your way home? Don't hold dinner for me. I'm gonna have to work late tonight. Oh. We're having funky chicken, your favorite. I'm sorry. Grayson is all over me for being late this morning. Okay, well, I'll save you a plate then. I'll see you tonight. I love you. I love you too. I'm sorry. Am I keeping you up? I'm almost done. You need your rest. Yes, but if I don't finish this report and get it on my boss's desk first thing in the morning... What? <sighs> He'll fire you? Good. Good? What is that supposed to mean? It means you have a terrible boss and you deserve to be treated better. You're just saying that because you love me. Yes, I do. <laughs> Look, I know my boss is terrible, but the job does pay really well. The health insurance is top notch. You know, with how expensive things have been with traveling and, and training with Richie, it's just the last thing T. Miller needs right now is for me to lose my job. Especially when we're so close to achieving Richie's dream. Honey, we always, always find a way through. We're a team. It doesn't always have to be just on you. What is it? I just can't stop thinking about Richie's face when we didn't qualify. He was so disappointed. <gasps> Broke my heart. Richie wants to compete in Hawaii so bad. I just wish I was a little bit faster. Honey, you were doing your very best. What if that's not good enough? To qualify, I need to be better. And for that to happen, we need to train harder than ever. With the way my boss has been riding me, I just... Richie and I work really hard. I would really hate to let him down. Honey, you are an amazing father and husband. And you do so many things for all of us. Richie loves you with or without Hawaii. Now you need to get some rest. Five more minutes. Got a minute, Miller? I need you to handle the Cardona file. And I need it done this weekend. This weekend? 10 a.m. Sunday. Oh, but sir, my son and I have our race on Saturday. It's the last chance we have to qualify. I, there's no way I can do both. What's more important? A race or your job? <sighs> 10 
10 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Dad. They got this. They got this. They got this. Come on. We did. We did. We did. We did. Yes! We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Your time was 1650. You qualify. Hey, we've been watching you and your son's journey on TikTok, and I just wanted to say what you guys are doing is really inspiring. Keep it up. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How cool was that, huh? Really cool, yeah. Oh. Bring it in, Team oh. Miller. Oh. You feel hot. Hey. Where are you going? It's our victory breakfast. I really got to get to work and drop this off. On a Sunday? But it's tradition. Yeah, Dad, it's tradition. Oh. It has to be in by 10. It's it's not going to be the end of the world if you're five minutes late to have breakfast with us. Yeah, come on, Dad. Please. Please. Cash browns. Come, come on. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys are killing me. Yes. You're right, OK? You're all right. I can never say no to you guys. Yeah, my first. Uh -uh. Here. Hey, boss. I got the Cardona file right here. It's late. Do you have any idea how unprofessional it makes us look when we turn in a case late? Sir, it's, it's barely 10, 15. That's 15 minutes past when it was supposed to be turned in. Now I warned you what would happen if you kept testing me. I can just say Shh. Dad? What happened? Don't tell me. I got fired. <gasps> what? Why? You have been working so hard. Not hard enough, apparently. According to my boss. But that's not fair. Forget about him. He's the worst. When she's right, she's right. Dad? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid without my job, we're not going to be able to race in Hawaii. After how hard you've worked. God, I just really hate to let you down, buddy. Hey, we don't give up, right? What do we do when we get knocked down? What do we do? when we get knocked down. We get back up. That's right. Yes, we do. Yeah. John, we are Team Miller, OK? We will get through this just like we always do. Come on. <laughs> Go, Team Miller. Go, Team Miller! Miller. Yes! Woo! Hey, Dad, how's the job hunt going? Okay, I guess. Just seems like I'm sending my resume off into a black hole, never to be seen again. <laughs> hey, Richie, can we turn this off for a second? I have something I want to show you guys. Trust me. So I've been working on a project on the side that I wanted to share. Come on, Dad, almost there. Oh, here come the afterburners. Oh. My dad is the best. Yeah, you know what? I'm not much into cycling and swimming and, and running, which is perfect for a triathlon, but this isn't my dream. This is Richie's dream. I'm doing it for him. I see them training every day, and it never fails to bring a smile to my face. It is so inspirational how much this family loves each other and how hard they will work to make Richie's dreams come true. You know, the world could use a little more of this. Come on, faster, faster. All right, whisper, whisper, whisper. Count for me. Here we go. Go, go Team Miller! Oh, we did it, buddy. We did it. Oh, we did it. Go Team Miller!
Richie Miller has a lot of supporters out there, including someone I think Richie knows. Hey there, Team Miller. I've heard Richie is a fan of mine, but it turns out I'm a big fan of yours too. Wow, this is amazing. How did you do this? It was all Richie and Dad. They've inspired so many people. I've heard there's a big dream you've both been working so hard to achieve. Why don't we make that dream a reality? Right here, right now. On behalf of Iron Man, it's my great honor to inform you that Team Miller has earned an official invite to Hawaii. All expenses paid. Oh my gosh, Hawaii! Oh my no. We're going to Hawaii. 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 I can't sleep. And that's not all. I've heard John is looking for work. It turns out I work with an organization called Special Needs Athletics, and they're looking for a new program director. Oh my gosh. You'd be so great at that. You're amazing, Mary. This is incredible. We're a team. When one of us falls, the rest help pick them back up. All you both have to do is start training for Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii? We, we, got we are back. We got that. You ready to train, buddy? Yeah. Ready to get yeah. back out there? We're going to Hawaii. Team Miller. You got it. Hawaii, oh my gosh. You ready for this, buddy? I'm ready, Dad. Hey, Richie. Welcome to Flight 84, non-stop to Hawaii's Kona International Airport. Up here on the flight deck, we'd like to extend a special welcome to Team Miller, who will be competing in the Ironman Triathlon this weekend. <laughs> you hear that, buddy? They're cheering for you. No, they're cheering for us. Go, Team Miller! <laughs> Great news, boss. We did one million dollars in top-line revenue. And after about $600,000 in expenses, get this, we did over $400,000 in profits. By far, our best quarter yet. Uh, if we had just cut expenses more, we would have hit half a million. I mean, based on industry averages, our profit margin is extremely high, sir. I was also gonna say, we could even afford to give the team a raise since it's been three years since- A raise? Are you kidding me, Carly? We need to cut costs, not increase them. Next quarter, I wanna make half a million in profit, at least. So we need to figure out a way to cut- Pardon my reach, sir, but I have your chicken Alfredo here. What in the world? This is Albert Brooks. It's his first day on the job. Isn't he neat? Why in the world is a robot dropping off my food? Well, a robot can do just as good a job as a human, if not better. Isn't that right, Albert? Thank you, sir. I appreciate the kind words. <laughs> he doesn't need to take lunches or breaks. And I don't have to worry about him being on his phone. Plus, it doesn't hurt that we're able to cut our expenses by 20%. Because now, you don't need as much manpower. 20%? Mm hmm Just let me... I guess, Albert, know if you need any help. Uh, what happened to customer service? I, I don't get it. <laughs> this whole robot thing, it doesn't make any sense. Research shows that consumers are more health conscious than ever. So for your new packaging, we decided to position your cookies as a health nutritious snack. Love the concept, but uh, really don't know how believable that's going to be, considering our cookies are loaded with fat and carbohydrates. <laughs> well, true, but we noticed there's no cholesterol and no trans fat, so that needs to be highlighted. And if you combine both cookies, there are 10 grams of protein and four grams of fiber. So getting customers to just focus on the positive, they'll be less likely to think about all the bad stuff. Finally, the name. So we like Crave cookies, right? But if I'm a parent, I may not want my kids to crave cookies. So we decided to go with Nutra cookies. Now that's something I have no problem with my kid eating. You know, I noticed that you used vegan packaging. We're not currently a vegan brand. I'm really glad that you exactly. caught that. So we did some research and we found that the owner of your company is a vegan. So we'd imagine you want to push for that at some point. We looked into it a couple years back. It just was way too expensive for us. 
please? <laughs> Maybe not. We found a manufacturer who could do it for only 10 cents more per unit. And that may sound like a lot, but the best part is... The marketplace rewards a premium to companies that change to vegan packaging. Conservatively, you can charge an extra 20 cents without a drop in demand. So by switching, you'd be building more good principles, but also more lining in your pockets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was an amazing presentation. We are going to discuss and uh, we're going to circle back real soon with you guys. Real soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for your time. Thanks, thanks, thanks again. Right. Thank thank you. again. Yes. Thank you. Pleasure. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. You did great. Oh, my gosh, you were amazing. Great job, David and Kayla. Just phenomenal work. Thank you. That went better than even expected. Did you hear how she added real soon? Mm -hmm. I have a good feeling they're going to sign with us. I agree. Uh, what do you think, DeAndre? Oh, Carly's right. You did great. Uh, just out of curiosity, though, how long did it take you guys to come up with that presentation? I don't, I don't know. Maybe a month? Mm -hmm. A month each. Mm -hmm. So that's two months of staff time total. Yeah. Okay, thanks, guys. Again, great job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some drinks. <sighs> We've been trying to land this account for a long time. And if we get this, it could really be a game changer. Is everything okay? How much do we spend in payroll each month? Um, I'm not sure, but it's definitely the majority of our costs. Off the top of my head, I'd probably say around 15000 a month. Wow, that's insane. I mean, it's because of our marketing team that we get the business that we have. I mean, how else will we create these marketing campaigns and presentations? I know how we can do over half a million in profits next quarter. I'm hungry. How much longer? I'm going as fast as I can, Talia. I'm not a robot. Maybe it's time to buy one, though. Dad, can you help me with my essay? Honey, I'm really tired. I had a long day at work, and I had to go to dinner, and... Great. Give me a sec. Hey, you want to talk to Talia? I just talked to her an hour ago. I called to talk to you. I'm still at the hospital. The doctor started my mom on a new medication. I hope it helps. Yeah, I, yeah I'm sure it will. Hey, look, can we talk later? DeAndre, every time I call you, you're too busy to talk. It's just... I got home a little while ago, and I'm trying to eat, and uh, look, we'll talk later tonight, I promise. Fine. I'll talk to you later. Dad, I need help with my essay. Okay, fine. What's it on? The topic is, what's the difference between a privilege and a right? Well, how am I supposed to know? I haven't had to write an essay and... In... Hold up. How many words does this need to be? 500. Why? Write me a 500-word essay on the difference between privilege and right. What are you doing? Here's your essay. Hello? Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Hello. My name is DeAndre. Oh, this is incredible. Is there anything AI can't do? Oh, crap. 
Hey, honey. You said you were going to call me. Oh, I know. I, I was just about to. I'm sorry. What's up? You won't believe what happened to me today. Remember that girl, Emily Hines? I told you about the girl who bullied me all the time in high school? Mm-hmm. She made my life a living nightmare for four years. Well, I saw her today at the hospital. Uh-huh. That's great. That's great? Are you even listening to me, DeAndre? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just tired. Of course you are. Whenever it comes to our time together, you're tired. What's it gonna take for me to get 30 minutes with my husband? All right, all right. I'm listening. Go ahead. Thank you. So, we were five feet away from each other, and she totally acted like she didn't see me. I wanted to go right up to her and give her a piece of my mind, but I didn't. I don't know, I'm kind of regretting it now. Do you think I should have confronted her? I... I completely understand how you're feeling. That's not easy. But I do think you did the right thing. There's no point in escalating a situation. You're above that. I'm proud of you for how you handled it. Wow. You have no idea how much that means to me to hear you say that. Thanks, DeAndre. I mean, what is she doing with her life now? You know, we have a beautiful family, a nice home. I just need to let bygones be bygones. I absolutely agree with you, honey. You made the right decision. It was, I know, instantly, just changed. Hello, everyone. I have a very big announcement to make. Okay, don't tell me. Crave Cookies already called and they said yes. Uh. Not yet, Kayla. What I wanted to say is, you're all fired. Is this a joke? Yep, you heard me. So you, 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 pack your things and get out. Well, you can't be serious. Does it look like I'm joking, Dave? DeAndre, what do you think you're doing? You're letting our entire team go? Yep, we don't need them anymore. Because anything they can do, AI can do better. And most importantly, cheaper. No, it can't. Not everything in life can be automated, DeAndre. A machine can't be as creative or as empathetic or connect with other humans as well as a person can. I'd be careful, Carly. Because I'm sure AI can replace your job, too. You know, let's forget about half a million in profits next quarter. Let's go for a full million! <laughs> What do you think? Nice, huh? Sure. <laughs> what is it? This is not what we agreed to in our original proposal. Yeah, like what happened to the vegan packaging idea that David and Kayla had? Well, unfortunately, I had to let them go shortly after that presentation, so I don't have the context they found. However, I think this new packaging concept is just as good. This is like every other presentation that we've seen. We didn't turn down a dozen other marketing agencies just to get something that's generic. Agreed. This is nowhere near as creative as the idea that David and Kayla had. They were so passionate and personable. I have to say, this is very disappointing, especially since we came here to sign with them. If you don't like this idea, no problem. I can get something else for you here. Don't bother. 
This whole thing has been a colossal waste of our time, and uh, we'll be taking our business elsewhere. No! Wait! Please! Just, just give me a few more seconds, and I can generate a whole new presentation for you! Oh. Hey, sweetie. How was school? Did you get your essay back? Hey, look at that. You got another A. What's wrong? Aren't you happy that I helped you ace another essay? You mean AI helped me? Okay, so? Why are you upset? You're getting great grades. You're missing the point, Dad. I never needed your help to get an A. I'm already a straight-A student. I only asked for your help because I wanted to spend time with you. If I would have known you were going to pawn me off to a machine, I never would have asked. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't know that's what you wanted. Of course you didn't. I don't want a robot for a dad. I wanted you. No, no, you don't go. Hold up. Hey, Natalie, I can't talk right now. Thalia's... Are you going to apologize? Huh? For what? For what you said to me last night. What'd I say? Oh, don't play dumb, DeAndre. First, you told me that I just need to accept that it might be my mother's time to go. I should just move on with my life. Like, how insensitive is that? And then you had the nerve to try to body shame me? Like, I have gained a few pounds. But I've been really stressed out. I mean, my mother's been in the hospital for crying out loud. Do you really not have any empathy? No, I'm sorry, Natalie. I didn't mean that. Someone else said those things. Oh, some magical person had your voice and was talking to me on the phone last night? You're a real piece of work, you know that? And for the record, you're the one who needs to lose weight, not me. <gasps> Well, the good news is our expenses are half of what they used to be. But the bad news is our revenue is even less. It's about one-fifth, which means we actually lost money for the first time. I'm sorry, Carly. I should have listened to you. My life has just gone downhill ever since I started using AI for everything. My wife and my daughter aren't speaking to me. The business is tanked and... All right, here you go, guys. Y'all just let me know if you need anything else. Thank you. Hold on one sec. Yes. Hey, what happened to that robot? Oh, Albert? Well, he was working out great first until he told the customer that if she didn't like the food, she should take a hike. And told another one that instead of eating cake, he should go to the gym. Mm. Within a week of Albert starting, our Yelp reviews dropped by an entire star. Mm. So eventually we came to realize that while technology can be great, not everything can, can be, be automated. automated. Yeah. Great minds, right? <laughs> anyway, let me know if you need anything. Did David and Kayla start their own marketing company? Mm. Yeah, I wonder if they're hiring. The cupcakes aren't in the oven yet. They're supposed to be here in two hours to pick them up for the New Year's Eve event. What is taking you so long? Sorry, I just got off break. I was just finishing up something. I'll go put them in now. Finishing up what? Wait, 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 wait. This does not look work-related to me. 
Oh, it's not. It's Jenny's it's New Year's resolutions. Let's see. Lose five pounds. Go on a cruise. Ah, start a baking business. <laughs> You're cute. You start a business. Wow. <laughs> I don't get what's so funny about that. You've taught me a lot and I feel ready. Oh, really? You really think you have what it takes to start a company? You're barely old enough to drive a car. A lot of people my age have their own business. Oh no, I highly doubt that. You know, it took me 10 years to get this bakery up and running. And I was 27 when I started. Well, just because- Let me ask you something. Do you know how many bakeries there are in this town? Just yours? Exactly. And do you know how many have come and gone over the years? Lots. It's a lot harder than you'd think. And certainly a teenager can't do it. Now, I'd suggest you get back to work if you don't want to lose your job. Wanda won't be mad about me using the oven? No way. I use it all the time. Mmm. I don't know what you're putting in those cupcakes, but they smell amazing. Wanda's gonna need to take some notes. Thanks. I'm experimenting some new recipes for my menu. Oh, well, if you need a taste tester, I'm available. And so is my stomach. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Maybe you should talk to Wanda about some pointers on how to start your business. You know she did start from scratch. Huh? Did you see what I did there? Uh-huh, very <laughs> funny. But I don't think Wanda would be down for that. Mm, you're probably right. I've been here, what, four years? And she still won't make me a manager. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's up with that? Honestly, I don't know. It like seems like we're going in that direction. I mean, she is having me find some new recipes, which is kind of cool, but who knows? Well, maybe it'll come sooner than you think. I hope so. Where are the cupcakes? The customer's gonna be here any minute. Don't tell me they're still in the oven. Nope, they're right here, ready to go. Then why is the oven still on? Oh. Whose are these? <laughs> they're mine. I was experimenting with some new recipes for my new menu. Oh, you're using my equipment to test out your own recipes? I was told that you let people use the oven, so I thought I'd give it a try. My kitchen is not for your recreational use. I am sorry, I hope I'm not overstepping, but I use the oven all the time for my own stuff. Well, that's different. That's because, what's that smell? Oh, it's My burning. Cupcakes. Oh my gosh, they're ruined. Who cares about your cupcakes? What about my oven? I I'm so sorry, they were fine just a minute ago. You know what, just stop. Stop talking. Now I have to get this entire thing cleaned. And you want to start a bakery. What a joke. I just got distracted. Yeah. Well, an experienced baker would not take their eye off the oven. If anything is broken, it's coming out of your paycheck. Understood? I'm really sorry about your cupcakes. It's all right. Maybe Wanda's right. Maybe I'm not ready to start my own business. What? Because you burnt some cupcakes? Come on, girl. Don't let Wanda scare you. Every baker burns things from time to time. It's part of the territory. Have you ever burned anything? <laughs> Why do you think I keep a fire extinguisher here? And I keep the fire department on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you'll be all right. And Wanda, she'll forget about it. <laughs> so I take it you don't want a taste test? Girl, you clearly don't know me at all. Burnt cupcake is my absolute favorite. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Yay! Thanks, guys. This is so nice. And the cake looks amazing. Are you really going to act like you didn't bake it? <laughs> Wait, you made this cake? Yeah. It looks super nice. <laughs> yeah, Lauren had me bake this cake, but I didn't know it was for me. <laughs> well, I love everything you make, and if it saves me a few hours, I'm all about it. I didn't know you were this talented, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I hope that it tastes as good as it looks. I just tried out a brand new recipe, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> sorry I'm late. I had to stop at the bakery. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. Do you want a piece of cake? Sure. Why not? Um, I just have to use the restroom real quick. Yeah, it's um right this way. <laughs> I am so sorry I invited her before everything happened between you guys. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What happened? Wanda being Wanda, you know how she is. <sighs> so, how about that cake? Oh, yeah. should have known. Oh. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I thought I did everything right. Yeah, well, obviously you did not. That cake is drier than the Sahara Desert. I was just experimenting with a new recipe. Oh, God, Gosh. not this again. Are you still considering opening a bakery? You just turned 19 and you can barely bake a basic cake right. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I'll be there. <clears throat> I have to get back to the office. Lauren, I need you to come in at 5 a.m. tomorrow to meet the truck. Yeah. <clears throat> no problem. I'll be there. <clears throat> the cake wasn't that bad, Jenny. It looks beautiful, and that's the hardest part. It, yeah, and it was just a little dry. Just a touch of syrup glaze, or soaking the cake in milk. Mm. You're right. I didn't know Wanda was going to try it. I shouldn't have experimented that much. She'll probably never eat any of my creations again. Actually, that might not be the case. I have an idea. I don't know about this, Lauren. Would you stop it? Wanda put me in charge of finding new recipes. You're actually doing me a favor? There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Oh, your first customer. You got this. Welcome to Wanda's. Uh, what can I get for you? Um, I'd like a red velvet cupcake, please. Sure thing. That'll be $4.78. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Excuse me, miss? Um, so we do this thing where we feature a new recipe each month, and I was wondering if you'd be willing to try one of my cupcakes and give some feedback. It's free. Oh, okay. I love the idea. I'll take one of these pink ones.
This is delicious. What recipe is this? It's a new one that I just came up with. This is one of the best cupcakes I've ever had. You're really talented. Well, hi, how are you? Hi, Wanda, I am great. Even better now that I've had one of these new flavors. Oh. It's really sweet of you to let your employee showcase their work. She's an amazing baker. Oh, well, I wasn't aware that we were featuring Jenny's recipes. <laughs> I guess I missed that memo somehow. Oh, yeah, it's great. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I've got to get going. Hats off to you. This cupcake is to die for. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. You too. Bye-bye. You have really crossed the line this time, Jenny. This is not one of your high school home ec classes where you get to test out your recipes. I am running a real business with real customers making real money. It wasn't her fault. You put me in charge to find new recipes. So I figured why not just use Jenny's? You heard the customer, she loved them. Jenny almost killed me with her recipes last night. We are not using them anymore. From now on, just stick to making things my way. You know, you've been extra mean since you saw my New Year's resolution. Mean? You think I'm being mean? I am trying to save you from the heartache and loss you'll have if you actually go through with this silly dream of yours. Oh, so now what? You're having a temper tantrum? How appropriate. This isn't me having a tantrum. This is me saying I quit. Quit? <laughs> That's great, go ahead and quit. I can't wait to see you come crawling back here in a couple of months begging me for your job back. It's gonna be fun. Jenny, Jen! What? Jen, wait. I'm so sorry about that. I had no idea she was gonna react that way. It's not your fault. I just can't do this anymore. I don't blame you. Wanda is just so old school, and she just can be such a nightmare sometimes. So, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna start my own bakery. I don't even know where I'm gonna find my first customer, but I'm gonna prove Wanda wrong. I love that idea. Just promise me one thing. What's that? Don't do it for her. Do it for you. That's the most important thing. Thanks, Lauren. Hey, I was just coming to see you. I was thinking about that cupcake that you made. If I'm being honest, it's the best thing I've ever had at Wanda's and I've been going there a long time. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. I was hoping to get more of those for my son's birthday party. I'm gonna need about four dozen or so. Unfortunately, I don't work at Wanda's anymore. I just quit. Oh no, I, I'm so sorry to hear that. There's plenty of other amazing things though. I'm sure you'll find something. Happy birthday to your son. Wait. Is there any way I could hire you on the side to make more of those? I was really hoping to get the ones you made. Really? Um, yeah, okay, I can do that. Uh, amazing, let me give you my number. <laughs> Great, can't wait to do business with you. Same, thanks so much. Thank you. Look over here. What are you doing? I'm taking a pic for your new Instagram. I made your profile. You did? Uh, yeah, girl, you need social media marketing. Now smile. Come on. <laughs> Wait till you guys try these. You thought Wanda's were good. This is heavenly. Well, I can't imagine anything being better than Wanda's. Yeah, I've been going to her for years. Just trust me. Here. Mm. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, you were right. These are better than Wanda's. This is unbelievable. I could already feel the 10 pounds I'm gonna gain. <laughs> <laughs> Same. But I don't care. I need two dozen right now. I'm hosting a baby shower and these would be perfect. Good idea. My Rory turns 10 tomorrow. I know it's short notice, but can you get me four dozen by the morning? I'll pay you extra for the last minute request. Um, I would need help. Yeah, I could make that work. <laughs> um, just give me your phone and I'll put in my number and then send me your contact and your order details. Jenny, you're the best. Wanda always requires a 48 hour notice and she's not always the most pleasant to deal with. Mm -hmm. I think Wanda better watch out because there's a new girl in town. <laughs> girl, you need business cards. <laughs> hey, um, there's not much left for me to clean. Anything else you want me to work on? No. I can't remember the last time we didn't see a single customer in four hours. This place is like a ghost town. Business was booming a month ago. I don't get it. Yeah, I think I might know what's going on. Well, what? Um. <laughs> Jenny Sweets? She's been really blowing up. Well, I haven't heard of another bakery shop opening, so. Her business runs through Instagram and delivery apps. She doesn't have an actual store. It's the direction a lot of businesses are going. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I'm sure it's not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> right? <sighs> Work. Oh, yeah. Where have you been? You're 20 minutes late. I'm sorry. I and mean, why are you wearing that t-shirt? I'll just, I'll cover it up with this. Absolutely not. You are not going to be promoting some other business while you're working here. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I was just helping my friend. I'm sorry. What you need to be doing is dedicating more time here and then maybe my business wouldn't be this slow. You think I'm not dedicated? I've been working more than 60 hours a week for years here and I'm not even the manager. You? Manager? <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on. What do you mean? You've been telling me for the longest time that that was the direction this was going in. Oh, please. I just said that so you wouldn't quit. <sighs> wow. You know what? I don't need this. I do so much for you and you don't appreciate any of it. I'm going to work for Jenny. Jenny? You know, if you want to throw your career down the toilet, be my guest. It's going to be fun watching the two of you fail. Hmm. We'll just see about that. Take care, Wanda. While Wanda's business started going downhill, Jenny's business started to really take off. As word spreads about her amazing treats, Jenny starts making deliveries all around town. Each customer would refer her to even more people, so her business quickly began to grow. Jenny started off baking in her kitchen with just a few people. But as time went on and her popularity exploded, she had to hire more and more to help keep up. Fortunately for her, she had a good manager in place to oversee everything. And then a few months later, Jenny and Lauren come to pay a visit to their old boss. Hey, Wanda. Oh, Alex, 
Look, I just need a couple more days for the rent, okay? <sighs> You've been saying that for the past couple months. Ownership isn't happy. I know, but business has been slow, but I'm gonna think of something, so I just need a little bit more time. Look, I know you've been here for a long time, and I hate to do this to you, but I have to serve you with this notice. No, Alex, are you serious? But you know me. I know, and I'm really fighting for you. But they've got another tenant who's ready to move in. No. Who? Oh, is it another bakery shop? I can't say. But what I can tell you is that they're willing to pay more. So I can't give you any more extensions. Three days, that's it. Thank you. Oh, don't tell me. It's you two trying to take over my place. What are you talking about? Please, don't play innocent with me. I just found out that someone's trying to take over my place, and now it makes sense. We honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So you're just here to rub your success in my face? No, not at all. We actually came to work with you. Work with me? I, I don't understand. As you probably know, we've been expanding pretty quickly. Jenna Suites has 25 different locations now. And what we've come to realize is that if we want to grow as fast as we want to grow, then we need to start partnering with other bakeries to keep up with the supply chain demand. So we're wondering if you're interested in helping make cupcakes for us. Oh, I see. So in other words, you want me to work for you? Uh, no, to partner with us. We would agree to purchase a large volume from you in exchange for a small discount, of course, but the margin is great. It's a really great margin. And the best part is that we'll pay you up front. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Really? <sighs> Why would you do this for me? Because you helped me. If it wasn't for you, I would have never quit my job. And I would have never started my business. I learned so much from you. Seriously, thank you. Come on, just say yes. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much I needed this right now. You're welcome. And I really am happy for you both. I guess you can start a business at any age after all. <laughs> and I take it you're the manager of Jenny Sweets? Nope. <laughs> I am a partner. Jenny just gave me ownership. <laughs> it's the least that I could do. <gasps> partner, <laughs> huh? Well, you deserve it, Lauren. I'm really very sorry I never gave you that promotion because you deserved that too. That acknowledgement means more than anything else. Is that? It's my new recipe. <laughs> if you like it, I'll teach it to you. It's my number one seller. Ooh. This is really incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Partner. Get over here. <laughs>